comes from being an only child and not having to share holidays or cakes and always getting to sit by the window. If I had a little brother or sister, I would learn responsibility. More work for her, she sighs, but she is only thinking of my character. Thinking about me is Nanny's job. Of course, Mother is far too busy to have a baby right now, what with the Henderson case and all. When I have supper with her on Wednesday, she talks about nothing but the Henderson case. So Nanny is arranged for a nice lady to plant Mother's egg and do all the messy parts and then give the baby to us when it's done. <laughs> what would you like, Nanny asks me for Coco, a brother or a sister? I have to think for a moment, but only a little, because a brother would be a pest and get into my best things, like Courtney Taylor's brother, Robbie, who programmed her mobile phone to ring with a nasty farting sound. A sister is someone I can be the boss of. A sister, please, I say in my sweet voice. Nanny loves my sweet voice. Nanny touches a box on the wall screen and it glows bright pink. Birthday, she asks, her finger not quite touching the screen, but ready. My birthday is in June. October, I say after a minute, because I had to count in my head, so her party won't get in the way of Christmas either. Excellent, says Nanny. We can place our order now. She taps her finger on the screen, and that box glows red. What else can we pick? There are a lot of boxes. I finish my cocoa and stand right next to Nanny, who smells like Vermont today. A nice, cold, green smell. She begins to read to me, scrolling slowly down. Hair color? Brown. Mine is honey blonde. Eyes? Mine are blue, so brown again. Intelligence? Oh, I have to think about that. I don't want a sister who's stupid, but if she's smarter than me, she will be difficult to boss. Above average, Nanny decides. Good at math? Hmm. I'm in second grade and we're doing the times tables. That could be useful. But it probably isn't something she'll be able to do right away. So I shrug, which is a mistake, because Nanny is very strict about manners and posture, and I have to listen to a lecture before she will tap the bottom of the screen and scroll to the next page of baby parts. This page is not very interesting. The words are very long, and I don't know what they mean. Bioimmunity, cholesterol, neuromuscular. I stare at the screen with my eyes very wide so that I don't yawn out loud. On the side of the screen is a list, like the menu on the Emirate of Toys site, which I used by myself last year for my Christmas ones. The baby list is not very long. Babies only come in about six colors. We're getting one that matches Mother and me. Humans are a lot less interesting than Legos or iBots. Nanny reads me all the diseases you can ask your baby not to have. Most of them are options, she said, which means we have to pay more. But I think we should pick them all, because a sick sister is not a good thing. Angela Jovi's sister has asthma because she was made the old-fashioned way, without a menu, and she gets all the attention. I would not like that. Nanny takes a breath for another lecture, but I am saved when the iBid sings the phone call song. Nanny sighs again, and when she says, connect, I see that it's her mother who calls every afternoon. Mrs. Nanny is quite deaf, even with her implants, so Nanny taps save on the baby screen and goes downstairs where she can shout without me hearing all the words. Little pictures, she says to her mother as she grazes the upstairs ivy. I don't know what that means. I slump back into my chair because Nanny isn't here to tell me not to, and because she will be gone a long time. Her mother always has a lot to say. I stare at the diseases, and then I see a better word at the bottom of the screen. Pets. We don't harbor animals because Nanny is allergic. She was made the old-fashioned way, too. But I'd like to see what we could have. I touch the screen to scroll down for more pets, and a bubble man appears to tell me about a special offer. This picture seems to come out of the wall and stand right in front of me. Jellyfish DNA on sale, bubble man says. He takes off his top hat, pulls a rabbit out of it, and holds it out toward me. The rabbit's fur glows a soft, bright green. Wow, I say. Bioluminescence, 50% off. Today only, touch box 3068, order. He steps back into the screen and disappears a little picture of smoke. It only takes me a minute to find box 306A and tap it to red. Then I save and scroll back to, up to the disease boxes. Nanny says it is good to leave things just the way you found them. I sit very straight in my chair, humming because I know a secret. Once I have my baby sister, I will never need my nightlight again. Nanny will be so proud. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anybody have any questions?
questions.